Fantastic. These rolled coins, half dollars, 50 cent pieces, but the old ones with liberty on one side and the eagle on the other, and that bird means they can fly. Now, I'll tell you right now, these coins will travel from one hand to the other. You won't actually see them travel, but they will travel nevertheless. They will, however, go across one by one, so at the end, all four coins will be in this hand. Now, I do this four times, so you have four chances to watch the magic, watch the coins, watch my hands. They come close. When I wiggle my thumbs, however, one coin travels from one hand to the other. Now, I'll do that again with this coin over here. I'll make it travel from this hand to this hand, just like this one. In fact, I do this three more times because the first time no one believes it. Watch the coins. You'll never see it. But if you listen, you can hear the second one go, and that's two and two. I'll do that again. In fact, I'll do it twice more. First, this one will go. Then this one will go. These two have already made the journey. In fact, sometimes they travel so quickly I don't even have time to wiggle. It's already done. That's one and three. <laughs> Now, I need your help for the last one, Kareem. Would you hold out your right hand for me? Thanks a lot. How many coins do I have? You have four. And how many coins do you have? I have none. I'll take one. You hold the others. Turn your hand over. Don't let them get out. Watch my coin go right through the back of your hand, right inside. Take a look because you have... Four coins. Four <laughs> coins. Thank <laughs> you very See much. There. Four bits. Four bits. 50 cent piece. Don't blink, you'll miss it because now it's a Chinese coin. Just a one quick open, close, and done. Take a look at that. I knew you were going to say that. No, I'm only doing it once. With them at all, whatsoever. Yeah. One, two, and fantastic. And if I can possibly boil your left hand. A lot of people think that the hand is somehow quicker than the eye. And we'll try and put this to the test. I'll rest my hand on top of yours. And then I'm going to come across, pick up one of these coins, bring it back to here, and you will not see this hand move. Watch very carefully. Here we go. Oh. That's the first one. We'll try the second one. Watch very carefully again. This hand on yours. Come across, pick it up. Here we go. This is the second. Now, we'll actually explain what's happening here. You're waiting for this hand to come across. But what's really happening is this hand is moving so fast. I'll, I'll show you. It's coming across, placing it into your hand, and then coming back again so quickly you didn't see it move. Yeah, okay, all right. We'll try it so you can see. What's very carefully? Actually, close your hand this time. We'll try it a little bit more difficult. It's a very nice wedding ring, by the way. Watch very carefully. My hand closed, your hand closed. Here we go. Did you feel me open up your hand? Mm -hmm. No. Watch. Go on from here. You can open up your hand. And there's the one. There's the two. And there's a three coin. Before I begin, I want you to examine everything that we're going to be using. There's a few half dollars. Make sure that these half dollars are real coins, that they don't have trap doors or rubber bands or gimmicks or mirrors or any of that typical magic stuff. Okay? Just ordinary, everyday, garden type variety half dollars. Now I want to place a square onto the floor with these four coins. And before I perform, let me give you a little background on this effect. You know, magicians hang out together. A lot of people don't realize how tight a grapevine magic is. Uh, but we always go out together. We show each other tricks. We even develop tricks just to fool each other. Now, for about 17, 18 years, this is the trick that I've used to fool other magicians whenever we got together. Typically, we'll go out together and we'll be showing each other tricks. Maybe it's midnight and everybody's about to fall asleep. And I'll say, well, how about one more trick? And this will be the trick that I'd always do. So I've done it for magicians now in 27 different countries, and they've written me letters guessing how it's done. And I'll tell you what they guess. The first thing they guess is that I've got six or seven coins. Okay, on my honor, my word of honor, I only use these. The second thing that they guess is that I've got some kind of a sticky stuff on my hands. There's no glue or bondini or any fancy stuff on my hands. The third thing that they guess is that I've got an extension that comes out of my sleeve that makes the trick work. Now, it sounds crazy, but I want to roll back my sleeves just to show you that I've got nothing up my sleeves except my elbow, and that's just a birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> nothing up my sleeves. So now you know all the things that I don't do. Here's what I do. All I do is I cast a shadow over the coins. Now, I'll put them into a square, and I won't touch them again. Okay. All I'll do is just cast a shadow over the coins, and the magic will happen. You ready? All I do is just a wave, and the coins travel. I'll do it again, just a wave, and the coins travel one more time, 
There he goes across. Finally, there's three and one. The final coin, just like that. That's all four coins across.